New details tonight in the death of a 12 year old boy who was hit and killed along a busy highway. Today that little boy has been identified as Jesse Raffold. But a lot of questions still swirling tonight, including the role sleepwalking may have played in his death. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez has been digging into this case all day. And Tanya, what were you able to find out? So we learned from troopers today that Jesse was actually walking along I-77 right up the middle of the highway. So a lot of questions about what he was doing there. Well, family members said that he was on a new medication, and that might have been the reason why. I-77 northbound on the 47 and the 48. You have a pedestrian struck in the middle of the roadway. State troopers say that pedestrian, just 12 years old, Jesse Raffelt, and how he wound up in the middle of the highway, now part of a major investigation. According to investigators, Jesse and his family were staying at the Best Western in Statesville when, for some reason, Jesse got out of the room, went to the parking lot, and started pulling on car door handles until he found one unlocked, got in, found the keys in the dash, and stole the car. Troopers say Jesse drove the stolen car down 77 for several miles, then got out of the car and started walking back toward the hotel, right up the middle of the highway. Moments later, Jesse was hit. On advising, there was a person in the middle of the roadway. They have now struck saying they're not sure if he's breathing or not. The family telling investigators that Jesse was on a new medication and may have been sleepwalking. Troopers still looking into that story, but say it all looks like just a horrible accident. So we did go to the Raffold house today. They live in Kannapolis. Nobody was home, though, when we went by there. Troopers are still trying to figure out why they were staying at a hotel in Statesville when they were so close to home. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.